What's happening guys? So I'm about to head over to the uh, new property that we just acquired, which I'm excited about. If you don't know, the new property is about three quarters of a mile from here. Let's not just ramble on about nothing. Let's get to the topic of this video. So I just wanted to go over a lot of the things that I bring over with me when I go over to the property. So I'm just gonna start loading up my four-wheeler. I got the basket on the front of the four-wheeler plus the back of the four-wheeler. And uh, I'm gonna load it up and get ready to go over there. Uh, I do have a lot of, I do have a lot of gas power tools, chainsaws, stuff like that. So mixed gas and bar and chain oil for the chainsaw in. And in. Gordon Ramsay, if you didn't get that one. This is a blue bucket, eh? It's not filled with poop. So in the blue bucket, I got a bunch of different things. There's a toe strap and then two D-rings in case I need to pull and drag something. There's a 10-foot extension cord in the bottom coiled up. 100-foot tape measure. There's some some marking tape, whatever you call that. Paintbrush. I'm taking care of my chainsaw, which you'll see in a little bit. Sunglasses. Bug spray. Sunglasses. Safety glasses. I didn't tell you guys this, but the other day I, I finally got some metal shavings in my eye and I had to go and get them removed and then grind it, grind it out and whatever. That was horrible. But yeah, it's fine now. I can see. Kinda. And then uh, I got a 35 foot tape measure. Um, there's a pair of pliers in here. There is a 9-in-1 screwdriver. I don't know why the Allen wrenches are in there. They shouldn't be in there. There's another Schweg. What's that called? The Schweg? The uh, tool for the chainsaw. Did I say wedges? Bug spray. I've got myself gloves and then I've got her some pink camo gloves. That's nice. That's, that's really nice. People are really starting to like me. People are really, really starting to like me. I like it. That's nice. I always have Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags are great. I mean, I normally put ice in them in my drink. Bring it over there so I can make like a second one, you know? So I can maintain. Gloves. Gloves. Roll of paper towels and another pair of safety glasses. Just in case. Uh, I am missing she, Dana. Dana did buy me some first aid kit stuff. Also got a hammer in there. I didn't say that already. I'm, I'm not. I'm not good. Oh, I'm gonna get shit for this. I got a decent size. Oh god, people are gonna love that. I did grind it the other day and made it kind of pretty. I mean, these are done. These are done. These these need new handles and work. Look at that curve. Look at the curve. I mean, what is that? But yeah, this for falling, knocking wedges if I need it. But. Yeah, just, just a large hitting device. Peanut water bowl. I don't really need this because there's a stream there, so this is coming out. We don't need it. Peanut drink, some, drink from the stream. You get out and get the worms. Oh, another thing is we got a cat the other day, the other day, like a year ago, and the cat wasn't fixed, and because of COVID, we weren't able to get him fixed, and she had three kittens. This is one of the kittens. This is Apple. Apple, Marie, and Franklin the third. Mm, yeah, Apple to Marie and Franklin the third. I like to listen to music while I'm working, so I have these. One of the uh, you uh, Instagram people I follow was talking about these. I got them on Amazon. They were like 29 bucks. They're Bluetooth noise canceling thingies. These things are freaking awesome. I love them. Um, so I can connect my cell phone to that, and then I also have the ones that you just put in your ears and whatever. But these are good. Now, one thing I do have over at the property is a toilet. I've made, you know, those like handicap showers. Is that handicap and a physically disabled, how do you say that, politically correct world? So one thing I do have is a, a, um, a toilet over there. I'm going to try to be as politically correct here as possible, but it's one of those, those physically handicapped shower chairs that was in the trash that I took and my modified it to make a toilet out of it and so that's over there so i've got sanitizing alcohol wipes for your hands not your butt don't use those on the butt Ooh oh, wake you up in the morning roll of toilet paper and then some trash bags to put inside the bucket that's over there but honestly i didn't put any in the bucket because i'm just gonna dump it somewhere whatever um 
I did buy a new chainsaw, which I'll show you in a second, and I did get the uh, the two-in-one steel thingy majiggy. You know, you come on, who doesn't know about that thing? This thing's awesome. I've I've officially mastered. Also bought some safety equipment. I bought this Husqvarna helmet. It was fifty dollars. Stills helmet, same exact freaking thing, was two hundred dollars or something like that. Yeah, someone could probably find it cheaper, but no, 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 I'm not doing that. So being a little safe, got that for safety, safety. My new proud and pride and joy is this bad boy right here. You know you've heard about this one. Every YouTuber that has chainsaws talks about it. It's the Still MS261C, so it's got the M-Tronic in it. It's, got, it's kind of a smart, smart chainsaw, you know? Three poles and it's going, right? One, two, three. Bitch. 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 Am I gonna guess? You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to hit that. I rushed it, I rushed it. Now it'll go. But now it's already gone, so it doesn't count. Okay, well there's something wrong with it. That's great. I do keep this thing really clean. I mean, it's a little dirty right now, but this is my freaking BB. I love it. If you guys know, this is a, uh, I'm not going to ramble on too long about this saw, but it is, it's part of Still's professional line. It's the second up on their pro line, so it's its the low end of their pros, but it's a professional saw. I uh, did get the dogs for it, but that, that baby comes with me. I do always have like bottles of water in here for, for drinking, because that's what you do with water, right? What else I got? I spent, oh, on that chainsaw, I spent about like $600, $630, I think it was. I can't really remember. But then I bought a bunch of other stuff. I bought the helmet, I bought oils and all that stuff. I got the uh, safety pants. Um, all those little extra things, you know, the files. I bought, I bought a stump vise. I haven't used it yet. That can go in the bucket. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of little stuff, so I'm about a thousand dollars in on that saw, but she's sexy. I like it very much, very nice. Another tool I've been using a lot of is the uh, the Weed Whacker. Uh, if you guys watched Wrangler Star's video the other day, he used this spinning blade of death, you know? This exact one. I actually bought it through his affiliate link. You know, just adding to his wealth because, you know, I didn't, I felt like he was struggling financially. You know, he bought that $1.3 million house. <sighs> yeah, you know, that's tough. That's tough. I, I can't imagine being that. Oh, that's a struggle. But this is new. Haven't used it yet, but I saw his video and that thing looked pretty good. Like it'll work for my property well. Yeah, I like it. So, this sometimes comes. Oh, I moved the camera. Can somebody tell? So, another thing that um, Dana wanted. Nope, you're not going to have to think about that. That would be bad. She would get mad. Why do you have to think about my name? You, what? How many names are you thinking about? Oh, God. So, <laughs> so another thing Dana was uh, wanting was uh, some loppers or whatever you call these things. I call them loppers. That is not what they're called. I don't know. But I bought these before I bought that chainsaw weed whacker thing. But these are extendable, whatever. But you know damn well, if you crank on that like a big thing, that's gonna bend it right here. That's a weak ass point. But good little thing just to kind of clean up around the property. And if she wants a tool to use while doing what we're doing, I will get her a tool, okay? I am not, not gonna not get a tool. Uh, oh, and then back to cutting, I did, like I said, I got some chaps. Um, yes, why not? And they're the still. Name brand, baby. Ooh, nice. These are like 100 bucks. 80, nah, like 75, 80 bucks. They weren't that bad. Yeah, I mean, you know damn well. If I ever need them, they're one-time use, you know? If I ever need them, amen for having them. And uh, right now it's cold enough to wear them, so I'm all right with it. We'll see in the summer. Hopefully I won't have to use them in the summer. So those go with me. I'm not chipping any of this wood. I'm going to burn it all. So big thing is fire. 
So last time I was at the property, I left the, the new one that I have, but I have the uh, propane blowtorch. This is just for starting fires. This hose is bad. I gotta order a new hose, but this thing's good. It's kind of hard to find the damn hose. It's confusing. I guess I just need male or female to female. Female to female, half inch. I don't really know. Anyone can give me the link for this hose. I mean, God, it's... This unscrews, see? So I can, I just need that to look like that. And that's about a half inch, maybe three eighths. And that's about a half inch, three eighths, same size. This one looks a little bit smaller than this one. You know, what are we, what are we doing here? I don't know. But yeah, I left this at the property, but I got a 20 gallon, 10, 20, 10, 20 pound propane tank that I strap on the back there with my torch to get the fires going. I was using I was using diesel, kerosene, whatever to uh, to start fires, but I was using way too much. And I can get a fire going with maybe a quarter of a tank of propane, and uh, it's good. Um, because I'm having a fire and because I don't want to burn the world down, uh, I do bring a leaf blower. This helps with starting the fire, you know, giving the fire oxygen. But I also blow a 10 foot fire ring around the fire. So it's just raw dirt in between the fire and the dry leaves because it is fall. But it's been pouring rain. So I do bring the leaf blower to do different things with the fire. Now, if it was dry, I did set up a system so that I could put out a fire. This, this hillbilly backcountry redneck shit right here. So this is one of my, the Sureflow water pump that I have in my house. This one had a leak in it because it froze. I tighten the screws down, it doesn't really leak that much, but it's okay for this. So I have this that goes to this and this, I can screw a garden hose onto that. And then it's got a long pipe that I can then drop in to the stream. You know, I need to put a filter thing on the end of that. I was gonna get some screen. I haven't needed it, haven't used it. Um, I got the generator right here, extension cord, as well as 150 feet of garden hose with a nozzle. So if I do need fire suppression over there, I can bring this stuff over and I should be okay-ish. What did I forget? What did I forget? I always forget the camera. Honestly, I forget the camera 80% of the time. Ah! And I don't know if I went over that, but I also bring my cup with a drink in it, and then I also bring a bag of ice with one mixer and a little bit of vodka. So I have two drinks, and and I know, I know, these things, oh, break it. These things and alcohol don't mix, but hey, that's why you got a Kevlar and your safety, safety equipment. I mean, that's roughly everything I use to, to do what I'm doing right now. And it kind of all fits on here. This is, I'm not taking this today when I go over there. I've got like an hour and a half of sunlight. I hate daylight savings time. So Peanut does come over there with me sometimes. Um, I don't like it because I have to cross a main road with her and then I have to drive down this road for a while and she's not really, she, she's Peanut. She's Miss Independent. And uh, so she doesn't really listen well. So I have to carry her on the four with her and she doesn't like that. So she does come with me there occasionally. I tried not to, I feel bad because she looks at me with those little sad eyes. Pardon, everyone's been asking about you. Why don't you come over up here? Come inside. Good, and turn around. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. Oh, that's such a good girl, team. That's such a good girl, team. That's it. I kind of wanted to show you the other cats, but they're not. I mean, can you see them? All right, right on the red fork. That's that special little lady. Special little lady. She's kind of special. And then in the bucket over there, in the thing, there's a black cat. That's Kermit, Kermit the Frog. Kermit, Kermit. He's, he's the boy. And he's all black. He's the biggest. He's ginormous. But those are the three kittens that we got from Smokey the Man. And Smokey the Man is not a man. We thought Smokey was a man, but Smokey was not a man. 
because Smokey the man got pregnant. I thought I felt a lump. Those were not balls. Those were lips. Oh God. Ooh, that's illegal. Why do I talk sometimes? Sometimes it's inappropriate. Sometimes. Yeah, I think that's it. Safety though. Safety's big, big. All right, I'm getting a little kind of old-ish, ish. 37, eight. I've been saying I'm 38, but I realized the other day I'm not. 37. So yeah, no more, no more injuries. Okay, that eye injury was big for me. That was like, hello, wake up. I did buy, I did buy a 24 pack of safety glasses that come individually wrapped and they're nice and they fit my head good. So I have been wearing safety glasses a lot more. If you go back five years, I never wore them and I get a lot of comments about it, but whatever. Safety first. Pain? You wanna say anything? Yeah. Thank you for thinking about me, peoples. I don't know if you're in the camera, Pete. Over here. Oh, she wants to go. I'm not a cat person. I don't really know how to handle cats. What do you do? Save me. This stupid American. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.